This is Dabu 7. We now have talk here of a Russian satellite that is catching the attention of the State Department, and one of their assistant secretaries had stated at a conference here in Switzerland on August 14th that they don't know for certain what is going on or any way to verify what's going on in terms of some oddness going on with the Russian satellite. Now, Russia dismisses all this as unfounded, as slanderous, and the satellite in question was launched in October of last year. I remember when all this went down, of course, when they launched these satellites, there's no way of telling what's going on. Now, I said the same thing about the Shining Star satellite that North Korea had launched. It was going the wrong way. It still is. They actually launched two different satellites, but the Shining Star being the main one that you can track on a satellite tracker, which I've shown before, showing that it passes over our country multiple times every day, going the wrong way, the opposite direction as the rest of the satellites, and they say that this one has a similar pattern. Now, they don't compare it to that, but they state that out of all of the on-orbit satellites, the behavior that they've seen, this was inconsistent with anything seen before from on-orbit inspection or space situational awareness capabilities, including other Russian inspection satellite activities. They say Russian intentions with respect to this satellite are unclear and are obviously a very troubling development. That's what they're saying. Saying out of all these hundreds of uh, things that they've observed in terms of what they've done here, this is different. So I've talked about the possibility of all types of different stuff up here. It doesn't have to be the type of weaponry that will blast something to pieces. You can use sonic waves, microwaves. You can use lasers. Lots of different things up here that can disable or jam a satellite. And this is the realm in which they're taking it. Here on the world stage that goes up here into subspace, this is what they're doing. This goes hand in hand with the talk of a space force and everything else I've discussed in other videos. But apparently they have their eyes set and they're mentioning this Russian satellite and they're hinting that it has weapons or weapons capabilities. So I wanted to make note of it. We'll see how many more times they've referenced this in the future. And I'll leave a link. This has been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.